on Facebook and on TikTok. Hallelujah. And please introduce yourself. Welcome, my TikTokers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Hallelujah. I believe that the audio is now awesome on YouTube and, and on Facebook. Hallelujah. Those of you who are joining me on TikTok, you are very much welcome. Let's just introduce ourselves this morning. By way of a good morning, please just type in the comment section which country you are tuning in from. Which country are you watching me from? Today is day eight of our 31 days of grace and favor. Hallelujah. We've been having an awesome week. The first seven days were glorious. The next seven days promise to be super glorious. The next seven Seven days after that, we'll be phantom. My glorious will be flying high. So, so you're welcome. Thank you so much. I see you guys on Facebook. Let me just make sure that I can at least also see the comments on Facebook. Hallelujah. I'm expecting a huge interaction. Amen. Somebody from everybody. So this morning, let's just open in prayer and just thank God for today. Today, I've themed it remembered by God. It is day eight of our uh, 31 days of of grace and favor. We have embarked on a three-day fast that ended yesterday. We will probably call another one next week. But for today, we are basking in the glory and the testimonies of God. Amen, somebody. We are basking in the testimonies and the glory of God. Hallelujah. We have heard people who are getting healed. We have heard people that have gotten jobs. We have heard people that have said their husbands returned to their homes. Hallelujah, somebody. God is about to remember somebody today in the name of Jesus. God is about to remember somebody. Type in the comment section, oh God, remember me. I encourage everybody to just keep tapping on that screen. Share the live broadcast in your timelines, your WhatsApp groups, and on also on TikTok. Keep tapping on the screen. Let's make sure we increase the likes and increase the traffic in this place. Does that sound like a good plan? Amen, somebody. Today we are talking about being remembered by God. Just type in the comment section, remember by God. Today, the Lord is remembering you. I start with the word of God, Genesis chapter eight, verse one, the Bible says, and God remembered and thought kindly of Noah and every living thing and, and the animals that were in with him in the ark. And God made a wind blow over the land and the water receded. Talk to me, somebody. And God remembered fortune. God remembered Sbonello. God remembered Lerato. God remembered Munashe. God remembered Mama Ewe no Zippo. God has remembered 316 life. Where are you, the people on Marwa Official? I'm waiting to see who the Lord is remembering. God remembered everybody on Facebook. God remembered everybody on YouTube. This morning, the 8th of May, 2023, the Lord is remembering you as you are stepping in. The Lord has remembered you this morning. Hallelujah. He thought kindly towards you. He thought, what can I do to bless you? This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the week that we are charging forward. We command the morning as we wake up. We are commanding the week. We declare that we are blessed on all sides. Favor and grace is locating us from the north, the west, the east, and the south. The Lord has remembered us. The Lord has provided shelter for us. The Lord has provided a, a promotion and speed for us. Hallelujah, somebody. The Lord remembered me. Somebody say, God remembered remember me. God, remember me. Hallelujah. The Lord has remembered Nozipo, Sibusiso, Pastor Mara, Apostle Mara. The Lord has remembered me. Father, we rise this morning to command the morning. We rise this morning to command the week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do I have any believers in the house? You are either typing amen or God, remember me. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Father, we raise, arise to command the morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabo sonda dia basonda le ke se ke te ki da basonda dia masoto ro 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 bo sa le ki shonda ki da ba ya sanda. I'm waiting for more people to tap on that screen and to command in the mo the morning. Hallelujah! We are commanding the week. We are declaring it is a new day. We take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Every element of this day, every element of this week shall cooperate with us, and it will cooperate with our purpose and destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today we declare it is the dawning of the new day. It is the dawning of the new week. Our season of frustration and failures is 
over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that we walk in the season of success. This week is a week of success. And this week is a week of prosperity for us. Old things have passed away. Whatever did not work in the last week, it will work in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, today we press forward towards the mark of our high calling in God, Jesus Christ. Anything and anyone that is assigned to frustrate us, to undermine us, to hinder us or hurt us, Father, we command them to be moved out of our sphere of influence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we command our day and our week to fully cooperate with your plan and purpose for it in the mighty name of Jesus. We greet today, this Monday morning, we greet today, this new week, Holy Spirit, with anticipation of good things in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has prepared good things for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could tap on those screens even better. Hallelujah. Lord, I command my day to fully cooperate with your plan and purpose for it. I greet today with anticipation like never before, God. Good things are happening for us in the name of Jesus. We decree, decree and declare that a new day has dawned for our ministry. A new day has dawned for our jobs. A new day has dawned for our businesses. We operate in creativity. Our spirituality has grown. We are moving with a new dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are greeting this week with fresh excitement, with a fresh mind, with a fresh zeal. Father, we thank you. We have a fresh anointing that is ready to operate this week. Our anointing is uncontaminated. Our anointing is uncompromised. In the mighty name of Jesus, by this anointing that has been released this morning, Father God, every yoke is broken off of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every yoke has been destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare and we decree that every yoke has been lifted. Every burden that we have carried, it is light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing that is upon our life is upon our families. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh powerful God, place your anointing on me. Do I have believing saints? Type that amen louder. Make sure you are tapping and commenting. Make sure you are tapping and commenting. There are no spectators in the kingdom of God. We are releasing into this atmosphere, releasing into this week. Talk to me, somebody. Let the anointing of God that I'm releasing this morning be uncontaminated and hindered upon your life. May you rise and be strong in the name of Jesus. The anointing that is upon your life is moving with speed in the mighty name of Jesus. The mission and the mandate and the purposes of God shall be fulfilled in your life. That mission and that um, anointing will attract favor towards you. That anointing will attract goodness towards you. That anointing is an, attracting unlimited grace uh, towards you in the name of Jesus. You have been divinely ordained to fulfill every single one of your assignments. You will fulfill every single one of your assignments. No mission shall be aborted. No mission shall fail. There shall be no critical mission failures. There shall not be anyone who gets off this plane. We are flying higher on the wings of grace and uncommon favor. Yes, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that this anointing anointing that is upon our lives in this week, oh God. It releases us signs and wonders. It releases to us miracles. It releases to us the power to launch our spiritual warfare that will bring back results in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare and we decree that we move with a purpose-driven life. We do not abort. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that every single one of our intercessory prayers shall be heard in heaven and it shall be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare and I decree that we move with the anointing of Solomon to resource manage our, our resources oh God. We move with the anointing for wisdom, wealth and success and prosperity. Father we thank you Lord that every single person who is at the sound of my voice uh, will move uh, with financial acumen of Cyrus. Holy Spirit we thank you Lord that we are sensitive and we are obedient to the voice of uh, God the same way like the prophet Samuel did. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father I release and I declare that the anointing for God 
government excellence and integrity that was upon uh, the prophet Daniel. Lord is moving mightily upon us. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we move with the acumen of uh, uh, and, and the anointing for excellence in business, in politics, in economic leadership strategies, every single place where you have positioned us as Christians, oh God, to function. We are functioning at the junction. We are noticed that we are Christians with excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, the anointing for warfare, prosperity, and success strategies is operating in our lives. Talk to me, somebody. Holy Spirit, I thank you that these ones who are the sound of my voice, they will pioneer new territories. They will pioneer new territories. Real estate businesses are being released. Expansion is being released from the left and right. Come on, somebody. Somebody is getting ready to do intercontinental businesses. You will transcend to other countries and provinces in whatever country that you are in in the name of Jesus. God will honor you and open doors for you there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We have the Deborah anointing for rule and balance in the name of Jesus. The judgments that we make, the decisions that we make, oh God, they are anointed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, those who are in ministry, Lord, they are moving with the apostolic anointing of the apostle Paul uh, with cutting edge apostolic revelation. Father, open up the world for us with new revelations. Let us see new things from the word of God this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shikonda Diabasanda. Thank you, Lord, that we move with the speed of the sons of Issachar. We have the anointing of discernment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are raising sons and daughters who will serve you in your house, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that we have enough workers in the field who will bring in souls for your God. Servanthood and ministerial acumen, ministerial succession is there, oh God. Christianity is not dying, but it is moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we move with a double portion of anointing for jurisdictional power and authority in the name of Jesus. Lord, we will not miss our times and seasons. We are like the sons of Issachar. We have an understanding of the times and seasons. We have the anointing for hospitality, oh God, and prudence in everything that we do. In the name of Jesus, somebody say, oh God, remember me. I command my week to operate. God, remember me. I see you moving territorially. I see you expanding territorially. I see intellectual growth in everything you do. Your bosses will wonder what in anointing are you moving with? You will move with an anointing of wisdom, intellectual acumen that has been uh, uh, seen uh, nowhere. God, remember me. Father, we move with the anointing of fruitfulness and dominion. We are like Eve, oh God. We are fruitful and we are dominating our, our, our atmospheres. We are dominating our communities in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, cause the apostolic and prophetic anointing to cover and explode and be manifested manifested in our lives in the name of Jesus. With accuracy, oh God, I will prophesy. With accuracy, Lord, I will lead your people. With accuracy, oh God, I will teach your people. In the name of Jesus, we are exploding in every side. We are manifesting in every side with authenticity in the name of Jesus. We are bringing the real gospel and the true gospel of Christ. Talk to me, somebody. We are moving with the elegance in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Somebody shout a believing amen. Do I have believers in the house who are ready to shout a believing amen. Somebody type in that comment section remembered by God. When God remembered Noah, when God remembered Noah, the Bible says we thought kindly towards Noah. The Lord is thinking kindly towards you, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Hmm. Type that I am remembered by God remembered by God remember me oh God this week remember me oh God saints of God listen one of the notorious facts of life is the fact that human beings easily focus on themselves human beings will easily focus on themselves to the exclusion of others somebody say but God but God, and many times there is a struggle to make other people remember you. 
and that could signify frustration in your life. But God, somebody type, but God, God will not lead you to a point of frustration where you are ignored. God will not make you be frustrated that you are ignored and forgotten. God has sent me this morning to tell you that he is remembering you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joseph was forgotten by the butler. Hallelujah. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 6, the Bible says that further David was greatly distressed because the people spoke of stoning him for all of them were embittered, each man for his sons and daughters. But David felt strengthened and encouraged in the Lord his God. For those of you who have never read, read the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, the Bible says, these men went to war with David. When they returned, they found that their city had been squandered. Their children and their wives had been taken to be slaves and to be raped. These men were discouraged. They looked at the men that they followed, who took them to war. And when they came back, they found out that their city was scattered. Their land and their nation were squandered. But God, David chose to remember that God is a God that does not forget. He said, my people want to kill me. He said, my people want to stone me. Somebody type, but God, but God. He says, but David remembered and strengthened himself and encouraged himself in the Lord. I don't know who you are, whether you are on Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok listening to me, whether you are the one who will watch the replay of this video. I'm here to remind you this morning that God is remembering you. God says, strengthen yourself. I am not a dead God. I am a living God. I am still here for you. I am still going to arise for you. He says, encourage yourself. When people have forgotten you, when people make as if they are blue ticking you, you are sending the WhatsApps. They are giving you a red confirmation, but nobody is answering you. But God, hallelujah, somebody. Let me share briefly and quickly for you five minutes of your time. The facts about men is that number one, men can forget. Number two, men can change his mind. Men can fail to deliver. Men can disappoint you. Men can betray you. Men can deceive you. Men can lie to you. But the book of the Lord tells me in the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19, he says, God is is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said it? Will he not do it? Or has he not spoken it? Will he not make it good and fulfill it? Hey, somebody shout, God is not a man. God is not a man. God is he not a, it's not a liar. God, when he says something, he will fulfill that thing. If he has called you, he has not called you in vain. He will do what he says and he will do it again and again and again. Somebody type, but God. We are just on gear two. We are not there yet. Who does God remember? Who is that person that God is remembering this morning? Somebody type in the comment section. That's me. That's me. God is remembering me. That's me. Who is this person who is qualified to be remembered by God? God remembers those who stand for his generation. I told you a few days ago, God does not remember whims. God does not like people who play victim. God is a God, is a man of war who wants you to enter the battle. God is a man who's saying to you that you enter that boxing ring. It is not over yet. It is not over yet in the name of Jesus. But God, he remembers you for as long as you will stand up for your generation. For the person who woke up this morning and saying, I'm standing for my family. God has remembered you. Hallelujah. God remembered Noah in the book of Genesis. He thought kindly of him. 
name. And he is here to tell you that I'm remembering you because you woke up this morning. Talk to me, somebody. The Lord saw the wickedness of the people and he and he saw what sin they were committing. He was aggrieved and he chose to annihilate and destroy them. He wanted to destroy them. And the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 6, when you go down to verse 7, he says, the Lord said, I will destroy and annihilate mankind whom I have created for the surface of the earth. I'm the one that brought them to this earth. But if they frustrate me and they annoy me, I will destroy them. The Bible says, I, I, I will destroy every single thing that crawls on the earth. But he chose, he said, I regretted having made them. But God, there is a verse in verse 8 of Genesis chapter 6 that I want you to underline when he says, but God, but Noah found favor in the sight of the Lord. Noah found favor and grace in the sight of the Lord. The, God is looking at you and he is saying, Mpo, you have found favor and the grace in the sight of the Lord. Who is here on Fortune Online? Talk to me. Tap those screens. I want to see those likes go to 10,000. God is saying, you have found favor and grace in my eyes. I am looking at those who are here. I am looking at those who are typing amen. I'm looking at those who are typing but God. I'm looking at those who are typing God remembered me. I am here to tell them that I have remembered them and found, they have found favor and grace in my eyes. Name of Jesus. Those who stand for God in times of peace are remembered by God in times of crisis. I said something powerful right there. If you will stand for God in the times of the soft life and the good life, when things are going well, when he's treating you well and he's taking you to the movies, when they are giving you money, when you are getting your jobs, in the times of crisis, that is the type of God who is said, I will remember you in the times of crisis because I know that you served me and you stood for your generation. You still remembered to give credit to whom credit is due. You still chose to give glory to whom glory is due. You still remembered your good, your God in the good times. Therefore, I will remember you in the moment of crisis. Who is this person that God remembers? The Lord says he remembers those who are in covenant partnership with him. Those who are his covenant friends. Talk to me, somebody. Psalm 105 verse 8 says that he has remembered his covenant forever. There is a God that remembers the contracts. Not these contracts that people don't honor. Not these vows that people make at the altar and they don't honor them. He says the word which he commanded and established to a thousand generations for as long there is a covenant amongst me and you. I will make sure I honor it. I honor the terms and conditions of this contract and I perform accordingly. I make sure that I meet my service level agreement. My SLA will be met. I don't miss my payment. I don't miss my debit order. Talk to me. I'm in fact a God that pays in advance. Do you not know? Did you not check that I've already sent the check for you? Your, your household rent is, 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 is paid. Your house, your bond is paid. God is saying, I'm a God that provided covenant with you. I'm in a covenant with you to give you shelter. You don't even have to enter rental. Go and buy your house, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. He remembered the covenant for their sake. The Lord is remembering the covenant for your sake. Talk to me, somebody. He says, and he relented according to his greatness of his loving kindness. He says, now when God ravaged and destroyed the cities of the plain of Sidim, he remembered Abraham because Abraham, we are descendants of Abraham. Talk to me, somebody. Because of Abraham, God is remembering you this morning. Oh, Shaka Rabaya. I wish you could tap those screens. I want to see those 10,000 likes. Talk to me, somebody. God remembered Abraham. He sent help because of Abraham. He sent Lot out of destruction because of Abraham. Lot did not know. Lot did not have a relationship with God, but God had a relationship with Abraham. Abraham was a friend of God, and God said, your associations, your family members, your partners in your business will be saved by virtue of my covenant with you. You, you, amen, hallelujah.
And for that reason, God would not destroy your business. God will not let your business go down. God will not let your, your children die. God will not let your children go hungry. God will not let those school fees go and paid in Jesus' mighty name. Who is this God that remembers you? It is a God who remembers his covenant partners and friends. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. God is hearing your groanings this morning, and he's remembering that he has a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. By virtue of these, our ancestors, God is remembering you this morning. Talk to me, somebody. He says, I have heard the groaning of the sons of Israel when the Egyptians had enslaved them. Hallelujah. I brought them out of captivity and slavery. God is saying because of covenant, I'm opening the Red Sea. Somebody shout protocol breaking prayers we are making this morning. Protocol breaking prayers we are making this morning. Lord, open the Red Sea for me. By virtue of the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lord is sending you protocol breaking miracles. Protocol breaking miracles are being released for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let the devil tell you that you are wasting your time in serving God. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time by coming on this broadcast. You did not stumble on this broadcast by mistake. Talk to me, somebody. You stumbled on this broadcast to release your protocol breaking miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Who is this person that God remembers? It is the person who will make a sacrifice. It is the person who understands that the kingdom of God separates the violence and the violence take it by force. It will take the sacrifice of saints. It will take the sacrifice of watchmen like me and you to stand up and say, we will pray and we will release protocol breaking prayers. Amen, somebody. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Shout that amen well. Shout that amen well. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Somebody shout amen. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Talk to me, somebody. May the name of the God of Jacob set you securely on high. The Lord of Jacob, the Lord of Abraham is setting you on a pedestal this morning. The Lord of Jacob and Israel, hallelujah, is setting you up on high. Talk to me, hallelujah. The Lord says, I'm the Lord who is yet to defend you in battle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am sending you help this morning from the sanctuary, from my dwelling place. I am sending you support. I am sending you strength from Zion. Be strengthened in the name of Jesus. I am remembering you. I am remembering your meal offerings, every offering you have put on the altar. I am remembering every offering and tithe you have put on the altar. I am the God who answers whenever you intercede. Talk to me, Hallelujah. The prayers that you will release this morning, these protocol breaking prayers that you will release this morning. He says, I hear their voices uh, and I will release uh, favor and I will conquer. They will conquer in every battle that they will face. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hannah made a vow saying, Oh Lord of hosts, uh, if you will indeed look upon the affliction and the suffering of your maiden servant and remember me and do not forget your maiden servant. I will give birth to a son and I will dedicate this son back to you. Back to you. Hallelujah. Let me speak for a moment here and remind somebody the same way Hannah petitioned God for the fruit of the womb. If you are under the sound of my voice, remember that if God remembered the petition and the vows of Hannah, some people have made vows and they abort them. They don't fulfill them. He says, I'm not a God that takes kindly to people who do not fulfill my vows. But if you will fulfill the vow like Hannah made the vow, I will bless your womb and make sure you give birth. I will bless your womb and I will fulfill, I will bless the vow that you have made. I will make sure that I send the empowerment that will wipe away shame and reproach, that will make your in-laws not to laugh at you anymore. Talk to me, somebody. I don't know who needed to re receive that, but I had to stop by the wayside to make sure that you are taking your ch children. You are giving birth. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Come on, somebody. This was the requirement. Vows in the book. If you look through the whole Testament, the Old Testament 
Testament shows you how vows carried weight. These days, people don't understand when they make a vow to the Lord. The Lord does not take kindly when you re renege on that. You will not renege on your vows this morning. Somebody type, uh, remembered by God. The Bible says that the family got up the next morning after Hannah had made the, 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 the vow. After Hannah had made protocol breaking prayers, they woke up the morning. The next morning, they returned to their home. And the Bible tells us that Elkanah knew his wife. For those of you who are not familiar with the language of the Bible, it says Elkanah had sex with his wife. Elkanah slept with his wife. And what happened? The rest is history. We celebrated a birthday. We celebrated birth baby showers. Somebody receive your child right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. After all had been finished, after all that has been said, Karaba Shikonda Diabasanda, a centurion slave who was highly regarded, who was sick and who was at the verge of death. The Bible says when the centurion heard about Jesus, the centurion heard about Jesus and he sent some Jewish elders to go and ask for him and say, I need a life. I need health. Go and send him to come and save the life of a slave. Talk to me, somebody. And when Jesus reached there, hallelujah, they pleaded with him earnestly. He, and, and he said, he is worthy of you to do this for him. Are you not worthy enough for the Lord to heal you this morning? I'm talking to the people who are saying, Pastor Fortune, I want to start this week in good health, in divine health. I want to start this week knowing that my health has been catered for. I want to start this week knowing that I do not have issues with high blood pressure. I want to start this week knowing that the fibros have disappeared for that scan that I'm going for. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to sarcoidosis. I speak to lupus. I speak to every form of disease, whatever they are called, whatever the medical books are saying, whenever they said that it shall not be done. But God, somebody type, but God, but God, hallelujah, he is worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of being delivered from that disease. You are worthy of being healed from that disease. Hallelujah, somebody. Receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name. Your sacrifices have established you. Your sacrifices that you have made, you have made certain offerings, you have made certain tithes. Do not worry and say, sometimes I sowed into a an, an not so good ground. The Lord says, I remember your motive and your heart. Your sacrifices are speaking for you now. They are a memorial altar before God because you remembered God in times of need. Those of you who have been sowing into the orphan's life, God is saying he's remembering you. Your, alt your offerings are a memorial in the altar of God. Somebody type, God remembered me. Oh, Shaka Diabasanda, how am I doing for time? Five minutes, I'm out. You know, when I say five minutes, you need to give me extra grace. I mean 10 minutes. Hallelujah. God remembers those who sacrifice for the cause of the needy. God remembers people who don't ignore the fact that there are orphans in your neighborhood. Don't ignore the fact that people are around you that are in need. Don't just think of yourself and your family only. Those of you who are going to work today as you are coming out, whatever you are making for breakfast, make sure you make an extra plate or extra sandwich for somebody. Make sure you go and give it to somebody. Are we hearing ourselves? Hallelujah. God remembered me. You go and remember somebody. The Lord is sending out an instruction that you should go and remember the needy. Go and do it. Go and do it. Go and remember an orphan. Go and remember that person that is standing by the robot that is begging. Give them something today. Even if you don't give them money, give them something to eat. Give them something to drink. Talk to me. Sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever shuts his ears at the cry of the poor will cry out himself and not be answered. This is not me, but it is the scripture that says this, hallelujah, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 13, he says, if you ignore the cry of the poor, you will, your cries will be, I will not be answered, hallelujah. So this morning, Father, we repent from any point we did not hear the cries of the poor, that we ignored actually like we are not hearing the cries of the poor. We will no longer ignore the cries of the poor. We will support the poor amongst us, hallelujah. The Bible says the poor we will always have amongst us, hallelujah. Maybe some of you are in this broadcast and say, I'm also poor. Go and do something for somebody. Go and perform an act of kindness for somebody. Go and do for somebody. Whatever it is, if it was a glass of water you are going to drink, make sure you go and give somebody else that glass of water as well. In Jesus' mighty name. Are we trekking together? Hallelujah. Let your light shine so much before men in such a way that they may see your good works. Talk to me, somebody. That they will see the moral excellence that you are a child of God that woke up for protocol breaking prayers. That you know that as you do for others, so 
so shall it be done unto you. God will recognize your efforts. God will glorify your story. God will be glorified as you remember the poor. In the mighty name of Jesus, who is this person that God is remembering this morning? God will remember those who persist in prayer, those who, who, who persist in prayer, who have been facing reproach. Hallelujah, somebody. The Bible says that God remembered the prayers of Rachel. Hallelujah. And God thought of her and he opened up her womb. Hallelujah. God is opening up wombs this morning. God is going to make sure some of you are not waiting for opened wombs for physical uh, uh, conception, but you need your womb to be open for your business. You need your womb to be open for your career. You need your womb to be open so that you have enough zeal and expectation to do that project that you have been uh, aborting for so many years, that project that has been failing, that project that you have not, you didn't have strategies and ideas on how you are launching it out. Talk to me, hallelujah. These are the people who, who don't stop praying. Talk to me. These are the people who don't stop serving God. These are the people who know what they need to do. Talk to me, hallelujah, because they realize that greatness is on the other side of the door. Talk to me, somebody. God will remember those who, who possess and shout for praise. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he sent the children of Israel to, to go around the walls of Jericho and they were shouting praise and worship hallelujah and the walls of Jericho come down your limitation walls are coming down this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Bible says that when he had consulted with people he appointed those who sang to the Lord and those who praised in their holy priestly attire they went before the army they give God gave praise and gave, they gave thanks to the Lord and his mercy and loving kindness endured forever when they began to sing the praises and the way when they began to sing the, 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 the worship. The Lord set ambushes against the sons of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who came against Judah. Who is that who has sought to rise against you? Who has said that they are coming for a battle against you? I want you, child of God, to raise your voice in praise and worship and say, God, my God, you are my champion. I worship you. And whenever I shout my praise, miracles break through. Whenever I shout my praise, walls of Jericho come down walls of limitation come down the battle is already won by virtue of your praise and worship the battle is already won i will not lose any battle for the lord is the man of war and the lord fights with me who can be against me if god is with me he is not only with you he is for you he is fighting for you he is fighting your cause somebody type remembered by god there is a connection between your worship and your remembrance before God, child of God. Take that help, skillfully walk around, take your voice. I don't care whether you've got a singing voice or not. Make sure you engage in praise and worship. God will remember those who are humble, those who are humble enough to subscribe to his mercy. He says, who faithfully remembered us in our lowly condition and his loving kindness and endures forever. I'm closing with this. Listen, your humility Humility will position you to be remembered by God. Somebody type, I'm being remembered by God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for every single person that has tuned in in this broadcast this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is time for you to send those prayer requests so that I can see them. Make sure you are putting those prayer requests even in the pinned comment section in the on the TikTok videos, on the YouTube videos. I will make sure that I stand in agreement and in the gap with you. Release your protocol breaking prayers. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, Lord. To you be all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you, Lord, that you have helped me to stand for my generation. I am that person that you have chosen to remember. I am that person who is coming to you this morning with all sincerity and humility. Father, thank you, Lord. We declare and we decree that we will walk in the covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you are helping us by virtue of grace and the sacrifices that we have made for your kingdom. Father, remember my sacrifices for the kingdom. Are you praying with me? Lord, remember our sacrifices for the need that we have made. Help us to persist in prayer and intercession and not to give up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that every single prayer that we have made this morning, Lord, will remove reproach and shame in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every form of mockery is destroyed from our lives in the name of Jesus. 
us. Lord, I know that you have seen our cries, our tears, oh God. They have mocked us. They have shamed us. They are laughing at us. But the Lord is rising for us. You are suspending every form of protocol of mockery. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we shout for praise. We declare that you are the King of Kings. We declare that hallowed be your name, that you are the King that is to be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, let your kingdom be established in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we set out in this week, Lord, help us, O God. We humble ourselves before you, O God. We come boldly to the throne of grace. O God, my God, my God, we come with praises, O God. Father, we ask you for your mercy. We ask you for your covenant activation, O God. Lord, remember us by virtue of you and your covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Lord, remember us. Let us tap in into the same blessings. Lord, release our potentials in the name of Jesus Christ. In this week, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we will see wonders, shines and wonders follow us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, remember me. Remember my family. Somebody declare it right now. Remember my family. Remember my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, send your mercy. Remember me. Be, remember me. Give me your intervention, oh God. I know sometimes I sabotage myself. Sometimes I'm the one who is guilty. But Lord, I come in the book of the law. I come, Lord, in the courts of heaven. I stand as an advocate, as your mouthpiece this morning, to, 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 to fight the accusations of the devil, to plead for mercy this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the afflictions of everybody who is listening to the sound of my voice disappear. I command every single form of affliction and infirmity to disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your plan, let your will, let your purpose for us be established in this season, in this week, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your will, let your purpose, let your purpose, let destiny be fulfilled in this week, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, that you have rescued us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare and we decree open doors for us this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the grace and the love that you have bestowed upon us. Thank you, Lord, for remembering us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that it is our season of remembrance. Somebody say, God, remember me. Keep tapping on that screen. Somebody say, God, remember me. Tap those likes. Make sure you are commenting. Whatever you want God to remember you for, make sure you are putting it in that comment section. If it is a prayer, you say, God, remember me for my car. God, remember me for my house. God, remember me for spiritual growth. God, remember me for my ministry. God, remember me for my wedding. God, remember me for my marriage. God, remember me for my school fees. What is it that you want the Lord to remember you for? Lord, remember us. This is our season of remembrance. As we move with grace and favor, we receive it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the book of remembrance be widely open now in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is putting in your prayer request right now in that book of remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus, the heavenly king of kings, the angels of remembrance are being released right now. They are coming to execute every single thing you are putting in there. Your husband is being released, the DB, in the name of Jesus. Your finances are being released. They are being reordered and restored in the name of Jesus. Debts are being canceled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. So, hallelujah, the Lord is remembering you, your health in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for those who are gifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I remember my prayer request. Remember my prayer request. Answer me speedily, oh God. This is my season for remembrance. Nora, the Lord is remembering you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy is speaking for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember my family, oh God who is here, Netrin, the Lord is remembering you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, compel my destiny helpers to speedily locate me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I release that prayer right now, that declaration, that decree for you. Those who are listening to the sound of my voice, God, let my destiny helpers locate me speedily. The destiny helpers will locate you speedily in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 
Christ. Lord, help me to move to the next level of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, compel my destiny helpers, those who are resisting me. Compel them, oh God. Let them release my things. Let them release my possessions. In this week, I possess my possessions. Remember me, oh Lord. Let every single agent of darkness afflicting my health, afflicting my business, afflicting my family be destroyed now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I decree the Lord is destroying every form of affliction, every agent of darkness that has been sent to destroy you, to destroy your, your progress and your success. Right now, let them catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. They are catching fire. Remember us, oh God. Somebody type in that comment section, remember me, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your countenance upon us, oh God, be wherever we go. Anywhere we go, we shall be favored by God and we will be favored by men. Anywhere we enter, Lord, they will see your countenance and the shining that will be on our faces, oh God. People shall, shall see your glory upon our faces, our, our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree it is our season of remembrance. In the name of Jesus Christ, in every place where we shall go, let favor accompany us this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, remember our prayers on marriage. Those of you who have prayed about the marriage settlement, the Lord is remembering you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, remember those who are in business. Enlarge their coasts and their territories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will be a major business magnet. Hallelujah. They will be major business contenders. They will be called for bigger contracts in the mighty name of Jesus. What about Sakata. Welcome, Don. The Lord is expanding your coast. The Lord is expanding your territory. The Lord is granting your prayers this morning. Remember me, O oh God. Father God, we frustrate every power that wants to keep us hidden, every power that wants to keep us in obscurity. We frustrate it right now in the name of Jesus. It must catch fire. It will be destroyed by fire. Lord, we come against every evil tongue that is accusing us before you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, right? Mm. Every personality that has been trying to frustrate your destiny help us or frustrate your destiny from coming into fulfillment, we destroy those, those personalities by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, can you shout a believing amen? How am I doing for time? I think I need to start closing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you have remembered us for greatness in this week. In the name of Jesus, every single person that is at the sound of my voice, I release and I declare that greatness dear DNA is being released for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will remember you and put you in high and noble places. The Lord will remember you and put you on the desks and the tables of people who are in high places, people who are approving your applications, people who are looking at your files, people who are releasing your pensions in the name of Jesus Christ. They will release your pension speedily. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, those who are needing to shortlist you for those job interviews, they will release those job interviews speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord, yes, my God, Makariava Sanda, face him, your Lord. God is remembering uh, your, your child for that visa application in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Our season to be favored and to be uh, and, and to be put across as promoted, oh God, has come in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord delivers us from every form of evil frustration, slow down, any form of delay. We are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember every person who is sick, oh God. We stand in the gap for our family members members, our associations, those who are sick, oh God, none shall be sick among, amongst us, oh God, by virtue of us having been in covenant with you, oh God, we are the descendants of Abraham, oh God, therefore we declare and we decree, oh God, that we walk by divine health and divine prosperity, in the mighty name of Jesus, I wish I had believers who could shout a believing amen, hallelujah, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you Lord for answered prayer, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you Lord that you have remembered us us and our families. Thank you, Lord, for remembering us. Remember our workers, oh God. Let them also tap into the grace. Oh God, oh God, remember me and my family. Type that in the comment section. Remember me and my family. Oh God, remember me in Jesus' mighty name and the saints of God. Shout at a believing amen. Come on, let me see that amen. Let me see that amen of the God of a protocol breaking prayers. Somebody shout that amen. Somebody type in the comment section, PBP. 
or protocol breaking prayers protocol breaking prayers pbp type it in that comment section as we sign out this morning lord we thank you for protocol breaking prayers that have answered the call that you should remember us oh god thank you lord that you have not forsaken us protocol breaking prayers let's type it out saints protocol breaking prayers father we thank you for protocol breaking prayers hallelujah we release uh, um Hallelujah. Those who are under uh, substance abuse in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare and we decree, Lord, that none of our family members shall be drug abusers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against the spirit of alcoholism. Protocol breaking prayers are speaking for you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nkonaza, protocol breaking prayers are speaking for you in the mighty name of Jesus. PBP or protocol break, break, breaking prayers, whichever way you want to type it. Amen to PBP. Amen. Amen to PBP. Amen. Protocol breaking prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you as I sign out that as you go to the YouTube page, Fortune L Online or Fortune, just type my name, Fortune L Online, on any social media platform that you can follow me. And if you are doing a prayer request, you can either inbox it, you can WhatsApp me. I'll give you my WhatsApp number now. I think those of uh, who know my WhatsApp number, please put it in the comment section as well. Make sure you put in your prayer request, put in your testimony as well. I want to hear your testimony. I want to see what the Lord is doing in your life. Amen. The way we've been encouraged in this three days fasting that we did, don't worry, you're about to catch the next one. Make sure you don't miss any single day of the week this week. 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. Make sure you tune your clock to your country's uh, uh, time frame. Make sure you don't miss it. We also meet at 10 p.m. in the evening for further prayers, but 5 a.m. prayers are the, our protocol breaking prayers. Make sure you don't miss them. Hallelujah. Make sure you are here and if you have missed the start of this broadcast, go to my YouTube. The video will already be there immediately. We shut off now. In the name of Jesus Christ, protocol breaking prayers are functioning for you. DB19, your mortgage is paid off in the mighty name of Jesus. Your house shall not be repossessed in the mighty name of Jesus. He's a God that provides shelter in Jesus' mighty name. Who is here? Davika, I thank the Lord for you. I declare and I decree that the Lord has remembered you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank Thank the Lord. The, oh, Daniel from Canada. Father God, there is no distance in the Holy Spirit. Father God, thank you for touching Daniel and her family in the name of Jesus, mighty Jesus. Dan Mabena, you are lifted and you are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Let me sign out for those of you who are in uh, um, YouTube and Facebook. May the Lord bless you and keep you and may the Lord's countenance be seen upon your life. You are glorified in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed in your going in and coming out where Wherever you go, you shall be favored by God and you will be favored by men. In your coming in and coming out, men will look to bless you. Your, your, your nose will be turned around to be yeses. I told you, in the next five days, five breaking, protocol breaking uh, 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 miracles will be seen in your life. Hallelujah. You will come back to testify with nothing less than five protocol breaking miracles in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. I love you and goodbye and we'll see each other tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Otherwise, uh, uh, Apostle will be here at 10 p.m. tonight as well. Who knows? Maybe I will gate crash his uh, meeting as well. God bless you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Hallelujah.